Is there a need for a big banish due to the format getting completely warped in two months? Let's talk about it, right? Let's just talk about uh, banlist Teronis. We're in fuzzy town right here. So London, standard, top four, finals. We have um, Minerva, Jet, and Eva. We have Flagberg, Youth, Overlord. We have Jet, Eva, Youthberg. We have Eva, Jet, Wellstra. All right, so this is the format for London. And uh, except for whatever the hell the second place team did, <laughs> this this is the actual meta, right? This whole season, you should have been on Jet Eva something. That something could be a variety of decks. So, um, like, Youthberg, fine, you know, Minerva, solid. Uh, Wellstra, really good, actually, into Jet even. Overlord, Lutetia, all, all those kinds of decks, you know? Overall, I feel, if we had to make a tier list in Vanguard right now, I think tier zero would be Jet, honestly. I think Eva players are coping mad hard. The amount of people who are like, yeah, well, if I play completely correctly and then look at the stars and I'm doing like, hmm, and everything goes right, the stars align and I'm the best player in the world, then my Eva sometimes beats Jet. Wow, your Eva sometimes beats Jet? Jet in standard was this season tier zero. I don't care what you say. Whenever I was playing Jet, I was thinking the only way I lose is if like seven things go wrong. And sometimes that happens, right? I mean, overdress in the end, triggers are insanely impactful because you always have small hands, except for in Jet, Youthberg as well. And then your triggers are 10k power, grade one shield, sorry, are all 5k. So like you have very little shield for very impactful triggers. So overdress always feels extremely random, but Whenever it doesn't go, like, wrong, I think Jet is nigh unbeatable. Except for maybe by Wellstra because of the whole YP thingy. And then tier 1 would be Eva. And then tier 2 would be, like, Minerva, Youthberg, Wellstra, Overlord, Lutetia, all those decks. So I think, actually, from tier 2, I think the format for D is in a very good spot. Above that, it's, like, awful. <laughs> if this season was singles, our top 8 should have been, like, 6 Jets to Wellstra. However... I do not think that warrants a ban list because allegedly Gandiva completely like warps it again. Now the question is, is that fine? <laughs> Are you fine with going from a currently tier zero format to a new one? I don't know about that. But again, I haven't really play tested much with Gandiva, so that's just from what I'm hearing. So, but are you fine with that? Or do you want to see, like, a pre-hit on Gandiva cards and a nuke on Jet? I don't know. Overall, though, I think had you been forced to replay this format, you should have hit Eva and Jet, and then the, then it would have been actually, like, diverse, enjoyable, and pretty cool overall. You know, it's hard to say. I think standard overall gets enough updates to where it doesn't need as heavy-handed ban lists, usually. I mean, if we look at Malaysia, yeah, there we go. So, this is the Malaysia top four. You have your Eva, you have your Jet. 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 Malaysia knew what the hell was going on. And then their third slot was Overlord, Lutetia, or Wellstrass. That is exactly what the format is, right? But again, if, if consistent updates to the card pool keep everything fresh, I'm probably fine enough with not having hits on standard. Now, here's the issue with V Premium, right? Are you not bored yet? I had my fun with Leopold. I'm gonna be real, you know. It was brain dead. I did not think only moment where leopold is slightly technical is when you want to make sure that you maximize the amount of fronts that are in your deck and you minimize the amount of non-fronts that are in your deck that is how hard leopold is that's it but then everything else is just decks we've been playing for years how long do i have to see this fox face in fucking v how long do i have to ride Ange in fucking v jewel knights all right i'll give you a pass that's relatively new well from the collection thingy they got their last support right fucking valk how long do i have to go second into valk and know I hope they break or I'm dead. Vanquisher, do you know how long we've been playing the same Vanquisher? I'm just so done. There is no ban list that fixes V. The only thing that fixes V is new support. And twice now they've said, well, there is no support. So how about instead of forcing random fucking events in Europe to launch as singles because you can't get enough people in these weird ass locations, nuke this format already. Like I'm done acting. I'm done going like actually V can be, no V is boring. V is the most boring Vanguard ever. Give new cards or axe it. But stop destroying BCS and Springfest weekends with this. So there, there's no ban list that fixes this. Like you say, oh, okay, but we can keep it fresh by banning like all the decks you see here. Okay, and then we play the Silver Dust Blaze meta again. Like you can keep on banning and all we'll be doing is playing older formats again. It's new product or 
kill the format. At least kill it like at the BCS level. You can still have V locals. No one's stopping you. Like Edison and Goat format were doing just fine casually. People could just hold it on their own. But this half assed destroying eater, like, nah, nah, just nah, fuck it. Malaysia premium. Let's see. In premium, I think we still need a ban list. Jet Steam Maiden is tier zero. I've tried to build a deck that reliably beats Steam Jet while not sucking into other stuff and it just doesn't exist. Because you cannot beat Colin Tirana plus 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 Colin Tirana plus plus plus. You cannot beat a plus six on turn two. There is no way. There is no amount of skill or engine or quirky counter that fixes the fact some people are like also mad coping again on Gredora and Chaos. They're like, oh, but Gredora and Chaos shut off their mechanic. Oh, here's a heritage. Oh, here's a Ragnarok. Oh, here's a, that other thing that then rewrites into a great four from deck. And like, there's a billion outs that deck has. Why? Because the ceiling of that deck is just so much higher. It just is. The only times you reliably beat a good Steam Jet player is if they break. That's all. Or you get like mad lucky with Highlander or something. Even if History Collection changes the format, I think Steam Jet needs like a serious hit. I think Interana needs to just ban, just get it over with. Don't try to hit around it. It wasn't a write down. I mean, write down helped, obviously. But I think even if you now ban Jet, like you ban its write down, it is still the best deck. Gear players, you have enough. History Collection is going to make you plenty strong anyway. You're going to have your Jet shenanigans with double fours on Melum TikToks on turn three. You can be happy. You'll have access to header around still which is still a crazy g-guard you got enough you do not need plus six on turn two as well so just just fucking ban and tirana and then history collection by the way brings like plenty of strong strong stuff right so beyond that i don't really know if anything needs to happen it's very possible that there's some crazy deck hidden in history collection that then needs to be dealt with but the only thing i'm very sure of is that this needs to go and we've also seen that by the way in the events over time because if you looked at the results early on it looked a lot more diverse than by the end by the end of the season people were realizing holy shit this deck should be on every team and we saw that you know here we see it there's fucking three of them three of them in the top cut i don't know what the third place team was doing they have an angel geese but that that's based i love it we have uh here london so this was london premium again steam jet steam jet steam jet how is it possible that we literally had like gear chronicle tier zero in every format the past nine months like <laughs> What is this favoritism? Highlander, solid second pick for sure. My only concern with Highlander actually is that I tried theorying in my head with history collection and every single history collection buff or like the festival collection buff, I'm like, Highlander doesn't have the room. This doesn't synergize. Highlander doesn't have the room. And so I'm like, all right, all the other decks are getting better with History Collection and Highlander is just ignoring all of that support. Do you think riding Loris is stronger than riding Reindeer? Because I don't think so. I don't think Highlander will be getting that much History Collection help. But I do think that Gears gets enough History Collection help. So I don't know, fucking Nuke and Tirana and then new decks, you know, can, can flourish. That is my thoughts on the ban list. So the DLDR is basically a standard doesn't need hits because it'll continuously power creep itself. Imagine hitting Jet when Gandiva is already best deck or something like that, right? And then V doesn't need hits because hits don't save that format. And premium needs one hit. Well, two hits actually. Ban the over trigger and uh, ban Interana. 